51. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. Welcome to the PHDJ podcast. My name is Mike. My name is Joe Bunn. How you doing, Joe? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, my man. We, we haven't spoken since uh, before Christmas. How That's was your true. holidays? That's true. Everything was good, man. I yeah? uh, did a lot of family, spent a lot of money. Good. Uh, good. And you say family, a lot of a lot of traveling, or no, no, or no. Pretty... I, I kind of had everybody come here. I did go to Wilson for a couple of days, which is only forty five minutes east of here. All right. Uh, my parents still live there, and that's where I grew up, obviously. But my sister was in town from Montana. Uh, she had her husband, and then my little nephew Fred. Nice. How, how little is little? He's three, and he's an nice. absolute man. Oh, that's cool. Cool. <laughs> I saw y'all cool. did a lot, and you had New Year's Eve off. Yeah, I had New Year's Eve off mm-hmm. this year, and Kelly and I got three midnights saw, in. We I went to, uh, there's a German restaurant by us that did it at 6 o'clock, because yeah. that's uh, midnight in Germany. An hour later, we were in an Irish pub that does this outrageous 7 o'clock countdown, ball drop, everything yeah. else. Uh, and then we went to friends' houses uh, for our midnight and, wow. and had it theirs. It was, uh, it was pretty badass. I figure I don't get a lot of New Year's Eves off, so when I do, I... I got to maximize. You got to go, <laughs> do gotta three make ball drops. Of, exactly. Uh, yeah, dude, a lot the of, sun looks like it's out there. It's it's, it's, it's the sun is out, but it is, yeah, it is. I think it's eight degrees. Okay. The sun's out. But All right. I just yeah, you to asked sure. it, before we started recording. You said, "Are you wearing a cardigan?" I'm like, "Hell yeah, dude! It is cold." <laughs> I, I even have a sweater on, this, actually. I know you're in North Carolina. Yeah. You get a sweater on. It's ridiculous. And and by the way. We should. I feel like I'm. I feel like we're one of those sporting events that goes later than the other football game. Yeah. Where we need to welcome in a new audience. Yeah. Um, we're starting out 2018 with a new wrinkle for the PHDJ podcast. Mm-hmm. John Young has asked us if we will contribute our content to his to Shockey News channel TV. I don't know what he calls it. I probably should have found that out. Sorry, John. Uh, so we're doing that. So we are now uh, audio recording for our regular listeners, but also video recording. For John Young's Here we um, are. audience, and I don't, I'm, I hate it. Uh, you were a big fan of this, and you wanted to do this. I did it uh, because for you, and also for John Young, because I love John. Yes. But I am not a fan. I've never had a worry. <laughs> We've spent a year doing this, where I literally could come back from a run, get off my light. See, you're in the office already. I am. You're right. But Wednesdays are usually my later day, which we we usually record this Wednesday morning. So I have not had to care one bit about how I look but this morning I had to get up early enough to be you know worked out and showered and have my hair done and and think about what I'm wearing so I'm not a fan of this and plus I've got both dogs with me right now so from time to time if you see me like off screen I'm just I'm petting (laughs) yeah so anyway uh but we're here we're on uh, YouTube now as well as uh um iTunes and and SoundCloud and everywhere else so yeah we're here we're here yeah so So you can comment on our content as well as our look that's right. Yeah. That's right. And how I'm sitting in front of a picture of myself, which is I the know ultimate, how vain is that, dude? <laughs> the ultimate vanity. I mean, Thank I you. think it's vain. I'm sitting. You can barely see him, but those are my marathon oh, medals yeah, behind me. Yeah. So that's sort of vain, but it's not as vain as sitting in front of a picture of yourself. Yeah, there maybe two. I think there's actually two. Is, but you yeah, know what? We'll even we'll get we'll get to your vanity later <laughs> in this uh, podcast. Yes, we First will. thing yeah. uh, we want to talk about is, um, oh, and by the way, I don't see, I know we're, we're recording differently. I don't see the usual timer. I usually have a timer on my screen so I can kind of get a sense of where we are oh, really? in our 20, 30 minutes. Mm. So I'm just going to keep rambling on until you say we've, uh, we've come to the end. Okay. Um, anyway, we promised everybody a big announcement for, um, for PhDJ, pod, uh, PhDJ Workshop, mm-hmm. which is going to take place in... So are we just gonna awkwardly drink too? Sorry, during this? yeah, no. man. I did. I I thought I was off camera. You basically, no, know. you're not off camera. It's, you might, like I might this. as well we're turn the label. On, yeah, there we're now. And I, here's placement. my label. I'm there, I'm still a believer. Wow, the team didn't mm, didn't make playoffs. the playoffs there. So uh, we have a big announcement to make. Up until this point, the PhDJ workshop has always been just Joe and I delivering uh-huh. the content, education delivered from Joe Bunn, Mike mm-hmm. Walter. That's been it. Mm-hmm. This time. For our March workshop, which is kind of partnered with Mobile Beat, we mm-hmm. take place right after Mobile Beat. We have uh, somebody who's contributing and somebody who I'm really excited about, mm-hmm. Jeremy Jones, who is not da, only da, da, da. a DJ. I know, right? Drum roll. Um, Jeremy Jones is not only a DJ but a lawyer. He uh, passed the bar and uh, he is now practicing law. 
he is going to be contributing a hours uh, seminar and he's going to be with us all the entire time, day and a half. So for one on one kind of consultations, which he's more than happy to talk to our attendees about. Jeremy is already speaking at Mobile Beat this year. He's part of the uh, educational panels like you and I are. Mm -hmm. And he's doing a seminar at Mobile Beat about contracts. So he didn't want to repeat that content for us. So uh, we've come up with that, what I think is a great co uh, content, a great topic. Nobody ever wants to have to take a client to court. But if you do, you want to make sure you're fully prepared. And so Jeremy will look at specific clauses that we use in our contracts yeah. to make sure that if we ever do have to sue a client for non-payment or anything else, that we are protected. And uh, as, as most laws are state by state, Jeremy has asked me for a full list of all the states that our attendees are coming from mm -hmm. so that he can look into your specific state law mm -hmm. and, and make sure that your contract not only protects you everywhere, but protects you specifically in North Carolina, mm -hmm. New Jersey, Illinois, California, whatever. And including, we have some people coming from international, he will look into Canadian law and Australian law. Wow. And I think I think right now that's the only places we have people coming from. But um, yeah, so I'm I'm really excited about this. It's uh it's one more addition to the education, which I think was already well worth the the seven hundred dollar tuition or six ninety nine. But I think it just makes it uh, even more of a value for our attendees. So I'm excited about it. Yeah, me too for sure. Is he also going to cover Mike? And I and I should have asked him this myself, but. Uh, vice versa if you happen to get sued like how how to protect yourself or is that kind of the I, I same? think so I, I know he's talking I know he's talking for a full hour so yeah. we can we can make sure that he talks about that as well I think his main thing and and I think any lawyer will tell you this your contract is if you do intend to sue somebody or have to sue somebody the, what's written in in pay on the paper that everybody signed is a big part of that so I think he's just going to make sure that your clauses and, and the way you phrase things are totally prepared up front so that right. if you have to take that step or, and that is a great point, if, if that step, step is ever taken against you, that, that you are protected. So Yeah, I'm excited stuff. about that. So um, so be on the lookout, guys. We, we're going to tweak the schedule a little bit. I mean, ironically, Mike, do we, do we ever dial in the, what was the first year that we did this? I think this is uh, year four now that we've been doing this. All right, so and in 2014 so, is when yeah. you think we started. So you don't think, like you would think four-year-old content is not that dated, but especially with our social media stuff, which we talk about, you know, all the time, mm -hmm. it, it, that stuff gets dated quickly. I yep. mean, you know, I, we, yeah, I think it's year four and I did a seminar three years ago about social media. I looked at that recently and I mean, the broad, the broad strokes are relevant, yeah. but the specific because these algorithms change all the time that these social media platforms use. So, um, yeah, we will we are we are going to make sure we brush that stuff up and yep. and we are as updated as possible. No yep. doubt. So we'll be tweaking yep. a, a little bit of the schedule, adding Jeremy in. So you you'll see a little bit of a change on the website, uh, PhDJWorkshop.com. And again, you know. We're plugging away, but we've we've crossed over into the new year. We had a sign up. Then we have a sign up, Mike, the day after. Yeah, Christmas. we had a sign. Uh, we had a sign up. <laughs> right. Like I don't Christmas know specifically, but I know that week between Christmas and New Year's, which puts us at over half. So right. we are over half filled. We will we will cap it at twenty five business owners. Yeah. And we're at thirteen. So you know I, who knows if this thing will sell out or not. But if you are interested and you want to attend, I, I'd recommend you make your plans now. Buy yeah. your ticket. Get your seat reserved because. There's there's as good a chance as ever that this thing will cap out and um, which would be great. I think, you know, I, I think that'd be awesome for everyone involved. Yeah. Plus, you don't want to wait too long to get your rooms or your your show pass or your right. uh, even your your plane. Ticket. I mean, everything just goes up uh, exponentially as you get closer. Yeah. So go and ahead keep and make in some mind when, when you talk about uh, plane tickets, we are all flying home Friday night. That's right. Our specific content begins Thursday afternoon right after Mobile Beat. We have uh, we have about four or five hours of content Thursday, yeah. all day Friday, but we will be wrapped by five thirty. Mm -hmm. I think it is five o'clock yep. or five thirty mm -hmm. on Friday. Uh, I've got an evening flight that Me night. Too. You have one. Yeah, I know most of our attendees. So if you've got a show that Saturday, mm -hmm. or if you just want to get home, it's been a long week, and you got to get home to the family, you can attend our full workshop. Get on a plane Friday night, and except for our Australia attendee, that mm -hmm. might be a little difficult. I don't yeah. know when that. Right. Know. 
But um, you can be home pretty much anywhere in the U.S. by morning. Saturday morning. Yeah. The red eye. You're yeah. playing Saturday, right? That Saturday? I I'm mean. not. But again, as I remind everybody, my wife is Kelly Margaret oh, O'Neill. Right. Yes. And that Saturday is St. Patrick's Day. That's so right. That's right. I knew I there can, was a reason you, know, you were getting home. I, I was involved in a debate on Facebook about it. Somebody said it's really sad to work on New Year's Eve. And I was like, man, what's sad about if If it's that sad, then don't take a gig. Like, if it's yeah. that important don't take the gig but if you do take the gig then be just be All happy in. that someone's yeah. paying you but but uh, it, it's easier for me to work new year's eve than it would be to work st pat like st patrick's really? day oh, is wow. a bad one. yeah okay. i mean that's kelly's that's yeah. kelly's big day i mean okay, it's the, okay. irish, it's the irish holiday right, so right. yeah i will be home now i'm not good when i take a red eye so i might be I dog know. meat oh, but man, uh but i will be home with a guinness in hand by saturday afternoon yeah with my beautiful right. irish yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I uh, I'm excited, man. I really am. I hope I hope we get a few more people. Uh, the people that are coming, you guys are going to get a ton out of this. And everybody that's come in the past has has always carried you know several things back to their companies. And I I like to think we've contributed to a little bit of their success over the past four years. And I don't yeah. even think you have to think that, Joe. We've yeah. been told that. We've been told yeah. by past attendees that you know this success that they achieved is yeah. because of something they learned or this step they've taken is because of a push they got at our workshop. So right. I don't even think we need to conjecture that. I think it's been told to us. And, you know, one of the things we don't talk about often enough is we have a closed Facebook group yeah. for our graduates only. And, you know, it's not DJ idea sharing. There's not a million topics being thrown out every day. But, the you know, the one or two topics a day that are posted on there you and I off, often offer tips on there. Mm -hmm. People will ask questions. And I mean, right now, I think there's 65 people in that group. Something and like there's that. some good, healthy participation. So besides the workshop itself, you as a graduate become a member of that. And if you want to contribute there and if you want to ask questions there and if you want to utilize that, that content, you can. See, Joe, this is one of the things we have to stop doing. You just looked off screen at your phone. There <laughs> Like up until Somebody, this point, we could do that, but but okay, to we're be, being video recorded. To you be have to fair, stop this. to be fair, uh, I, the only <laughs> time I would do that is during school hours. Like now, my kids have phones. You know. It's, oh, okay. So as long as it's not gonna, a kid, I'm, I didn't respond. Play the kid card. I did. <laughs> I played it. I played it. You can play uh, the Kelly card. Uh, if the dog's yeah, well, and you know what's funny? We when we've been recording, there have been times where Kelly comes in. And like she'll give me a peck on the cheek. Oh. I'm gonna have to tell her now. Like, and she put can still do that. Put some clothes on, honey. Put some clothes on. Well, yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> uh, no, my wife is up and out earlier than I am. She's already uh, at a yeah. All right, so I want to yes. talk to you, Joe, mm -hmm. about your brand new video, <laughs> which you just uh, what do we want to say? Launched, launched this week. Sure, New Year's launched? Day. Is that, is that the right Day. thing? I think so. Um, it is called Work Hard, Play Hard. But you didn't use the song Work Hard. No, I, d I yeah. didn't. I used licensed music so that it would actually uh, not get pulled. So down. It would not get blocked. Correct. It's Correct. pretty badass licensed music too. It is pretty badass. Um, yeah. And it yeah. was it was before we even shot, we picked the song, which is different okay. for me. Um, right. So different. Everything about this was different. This was the first video that I've shot without the people here that I usually work with. Um, if you are listening to this or watching this, yeah. I almost think right now you should pause, pause this. Yep. Go to Joe's yep. Facebook, uh, Facebook, Facebook page or, uh, or Bun DJ Company or Bun DJ Co. Yep. and watch the video. It's what two and a half, three two minutes. Two and a half minutes. Yep. Two point okay. five. So go watch that now. Yep. Uh, and and then come back and because yeah. this way you'll kind of if you haven't seen it, I think you've already got hundreds and hundreds of views. So it's, there's it's, a good it's chance right around ten thousand in a couple of days. Wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good yeah and how cool. many of that is you just watching it over and over i would say 1100 half, half, half of that <laughs> yeah. a so so let's start with the <laughs> genesis where'd you get yeah. the idea from uh, i i got as most of my ideas whether it's you know you've seen mike and we've we've shown some of these pictures in past phdj workshops and things even these insane wedding show booths that i used to build there's always and maybe that's the way it is with anything. You know, they even say like in rock and roll, there's only what four chords or something like that. Like uh, it it, goes everything, back yeah, it comes back to something. Is Elvis yeah. the founder of rock and roll? Is Chuck Berry? You know, who knows? Like, it's just one of those things. There's no 
sometimes I think there are no more original ideas. Even when you think you've got the greatest, I've got an app idea, and you go and there's 10. Right. Um, I saw this video, and I can't remember the year it came out, you know, in recent history. Jay-Z and Kanye did that Watch the Throne album, and they did this video called uh, Otis. It was, uh, they used a sample from an Otis Redding record, and then they chopped up a three or four hundred thousand dollar Mercedes Maybach. I mean, hacked it all to pieces. And that was where the the idea came from. So, I, so that, you just I love the concept of it has of to be four or five up. years old. Right. It may have been the last music video I've even watched in its entirety. And I remember okay. that director Spike Jones. Remember, he did a bunch of stuff around. Sure, whenever yeah. that was, Spike Jones directed it, and it was just magic. And I've I've literally had it bookmarked like in my favorites for years. Just I would always go back to it, and so. I don't, man, more than a year ago, I remember uh, I met with this couple, and I asked the guy what he did. Oh, because he paid me in cash. And I was <laughs> like, that's a weird, you know, it's it's not often. It's maybe twice a year. Now, there's a difference between New Jersey and New York. <laughs> right, Just there we, is. I don't, get a few. I don't get I a lot of cash. That. Actually, we never No, you that. never get any cash. Sorry, let's strike that. So, <laughs> Rewind. So, <laughs> Bring that. We never get John, it. John Young, edit this out. Yeah. <laughs> um, And... <laughs> And he said, I flip cars. Like, I buy cars on the net. You know, I fix them up or tin them, paint them, change the wheels or whatever. And then I, I put them back on there and sell right. them. And so I was like, man, can you help me find a car? You know, I want to spend less than $1,000. I was going to say, you you mentioned that Kanye and Jay-Z yeah. uh, rip open a $300,000. <laughs> yeah. You spent less than that. Is I, spent, what I, spent a gr- I spent $1,000 on the yeah. vehicle. With rims, right. with the rims, and it, but it, but it moves because at the end of the oh, video, you're driving this thing. And I so, told him, yeah. I said, "Here are the things: it needs to be it's currently go. running, and it needs to do burnouts. Like I need to be able to hold the brake down <laughs> and and right. smoke the wheels." And he was like, right. "And so it started with with Vinces, like the older style, you know, kind of boxy. I can't remember what the models. He sent me a few of those, and every time I would finally get around to going to look at them, they had sold them." Or, you know, they were like, oh, it needs a blah, blah, blah. And I was like, man, you know, a Mercedes dealership's going to gouge you. I don't know how to yeah. work on cars. So this one popped up one day, and I, I just ran down to – it was sitting on a, at a gas station, and I ran over there, met the guy. He also worked at the gas station, said he and his dad kind of did the same thing, flipped cars, and gave him $1,000, drove it, drove it home, and, and parked it for, I don't know, a couple of months. And then – we were supposed to do it in the summer, and I didn't really have a location. Now, when you say we, this was your yeah, so, entire so, staff. N- w- yeah, all of well, so, some, some as of many, your, many of the staff that wanted to come, show. and then Jarrett, right. really, Films by Jay, who yeah. I had started talking about this at Mobile Beat with because he was you in You know, he Jana. posted that because he shared yep. the video, obviously, too. Sure. And he had a very nice post complimenting you that, you know, you spoke to him back in March. I did. Last year about this. and. I did. As he said, you know, he gets approached by DJs all the time sure. with ideas right. that never, they never Material. follow up, never yeah. come to fruition. So he was very respectful that you had this crazy, if you want, go go to yeah. his page and read yeah. his description. It's very funny yeah. about he thought you were wasted in a club that night. Nope. And and he, he w- thought he, he might Joe, <laughs> Joe's never going to remember this conversation. And then the next day you were like. So when can we make that happen? So yeah. he was it, very it respectful. Was, yeah. I mean, we literally talked about it. I think at that chain smoker show or whatever show we were at at omnia right. and we had a booth and it was just madness but i i think i just somehow like it was in his ear and then literally the day i got back to north carolina i called him up and i was like I, I was serious like this needs to happen so set it up for the summer it just wasn't coming together i didn't have the car uh i knew we couldn't shoot it in the city of raleigh like it was just the, i mean more illegal fireworks and driving than is allowed and so that's when I approached my buddies in Wilson, um, again, 45 minutes from here, and I uh, have a friend in the tobacco business. And so I said, man, can you, can you think of somewhere to shoot it? And he said, I've got two spots. And he showed me both spots, and one of them was just perfect. It's a very cool, it industrial. looks like secl- secluded industrial. Like yeah. it looks like. And this is not something I would ever think of doing. But if you ever had to bury a body, it looks like the place where <laughs> you'd need to bury. You could bury a body there. So yeah. there was two locations. One where we were just driving, 
and, and cutting the car up. And then the other one where we were shooting the fireworks. And I said, why well, can't we do it all at one? All at one, and he goes, "There's a hundred million dollars worth of tobacco in those buildings." And I was like, <laughs> okay, "You don't want to do fireworks." I do not there. want to do fireworks wow. there. A wow. hundred million <laughs> in tobacco. So, <laughs> so anyway, that it's actually two locations, real near each other. Wow, and I didn't get that. I yep. it felt like all one spot yep. to me. It yeah. was, and they're very, you know, owned by the same people, probably built right. by the same builder. Um, so it did look like the same spot. But there are two locations, and. Um, and then I have a friend that that went to high school with me, and he's kind of a um, uh, he, his company's called Rust Finder. So he he goes to junkyards, finds old cars from twenties, thirties, forties, um, and again puts them on the net and flips them. So I knew he knew enough about it to not let me get electrocuted or hurt cutting this thing up. So he so was that like, "That was going to be that's one of my questions that I have written down." Yeah, did anybody get hurt in this thing? No, and I'm shocked because okay. it was me real too. ignorant. Because as I'm watching this video, I'm like, somebody lost a finger it, or, you know, it, got a black eye no, from... Because you got guys throwing it. pieces of cars yeah, around. Breaking glass. And tossing uh, sledgehammers from one guy to the next. And Dude, nobody was, got hurt. That's no. shocking to me. And, yeah. and honestly, like, when I was doing those donuts, and I'm, I mean, I've, I'm bringing it back from when I was 16 and used to do, do donuts. That was 30 yeah. years ago. Right. And it took about three times. And finally, that I was like, oh, now I remember... Like, and right. but there was this fire hydrant like the back end was whipping by like every time and i'm like dude if we hit this wow. fire hydrant it's it's a, we're gonna be you get you yeah, get the hell out of it yeah. yeah yeah and um nobody got hurt man and it just was one of those days it was it was not hot not cold i took a ton of cold beer like you know i kind of made it like right. i had to incentivize these guys which is another reason why i'm shocked right. nobody got hurt. i mean <laughs> most people will tell you alcohol and power right. tools are Here, not hold my a beer right no yeah i mean yeah. that usually you do the power tools right. first and then have no. a cold beer later. no no it but was, you intermingled these i things. did intermingle and wow. then i even capped it off uh with a big uh, barbecue dinner uh we went and had barbecue at this family style barbecue place down the road but it just, man, once we started cut, you know, he would be like, you know, here's the Sawzall. You guys are going to want to cut there. We need to break all this glass out. But it, he had ripped out the headliner, you know, the, the, the upholstery. Okay. He had also ripped out the back seat and put in like a stage, like a, a metal oh, frame. Oh, he had done that He already. had done that. And so really we cut the top, put the decals on it. And roll, and then and then bolted the the DJ table down, right. hooked all the gear up. We bolted speakers to the back deck of the uh, the trunk. And it, this is the one that then went on to be a part of that parade, Correct. right? So, so then, we've all seen the pictures of the parade. So we right. saw the end before you we did. saw the creation. You did, yeah. and I didn't I didn't want that to happen. And even as I was posting pictures before the video came out, I wasn't showing too much of the car, but. I realized what kind of an opportunity because we shot November 11th and I re realized the Christmas parade was on the 18th and I was friends with the, the girl from shop local Raleigh that puts right. the parade on. And I just was like, this thing is too cool not to show. Oh so yeah, no doubt. No that's doubt. when I swapped no out the, just a, a standard DJ table for my actual fiberglass DJ booth right. and then right. have my graffiti guy paint it. But it is the same car. That's the same thing. Yeah. Right. And now, has that vehicle been scrapped or does had, that reside so, somewhere? So, in the process. Because it's got no roof anymore. No, so it has no roof and I have no garage. garage yeah. No, okay, I have right. no garage. Right. So, uh, parade ends. And I remembered when I t went to Advance Auto one day to get some wipers when it did have a lid, uh, a top on it. I had bought some wipers and a guy came out to put them on and he said, Oh, man, I have this same car, the Lincoln. That, that was a Mercury, same thing. And he said, I've got a Lincoln just like this. Uh, I like those rims. And I was like, bro, I, I don't need this car for long. I, I, can you do 75 per wheel? And he was like, yeah, man, I'll do 300. So when you're done with it, bring it back. I'll give you 300 and I'll take the wheels. So sure enough, I showed up a few days after the parade. And I was like, you still want these rims? He's like, yeah. And I was like, will you give me 600 for the whole car? And he was like, hell yeah, man. So, I guess if you can use the parts, why not, I, right? I guess. Yeah. Was so, he cracking up about the state of the car? Had he ever seen anything like that? He had never seen anything like it, but, I mean, it looked so cool that people thought it was wrapped. I mean, it was so well painted. Right. It right. was, 
in actually in good ca condition. It still ran well. There was no like check, you know, engine lights or anything. Like, and I, had, I mean, we stomped on that thing once. Right. <laughs> once it looks like, we, it. yeah. It I looks mean, like we it. got on it. And right. um, all right. So, so let's talk anyway. about the video itself. Yeah. What, what? Who is your intended audience for this video? Us, you. Okay. So it's uh, it's an it's an internal not internal but it's a industry it's a look how cool me and my staff I mean do you think a bride sees this and goes no. we have to book that company I say no but every time I say that about a video I'll have somebody come in here and be like I just watched every video that you ever made and I have to have you or you right. look just like your videos or you know I can't believe how good your videos are. So, so, no. so hold on one second because yeah. I have a question about that. Yeah. You, there's a shirtless shot of you yeah. early on. Here we go in the video. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, listen, I, I, I just want to ask about it. Was that? Did you have any? No. Nope. Was that your idea nope. or was that? No. Nope. Nothing. Idea? Nothing. You had no hesitation. There was, I didn't know we were going to shoot anything other than in that parking lot. Okay. Nothing. So that was Jay's. Uh, what's yep. his name? Jared. Yep. Jared. That was his idea. Yep. To say, hey, let me get you waking up in the morning. Yep. Walking it, to it the was bathroom. totally, I remember I left a gig on Friday. No, I'm sorry, Saturday night. How did night. Ainsley feel about Jared wa waking up? There was up nobody there. Morning. There was nobody oh, there. Okay. She was so out you... of town that weekend. Yeah. I remember everybody <laughs> being out of town. They were staying at a hotel that I'd put them up in. They got in town Saturday night. It was so loud. It was the hotel where we stay, where we do the workshop. But it okay. was such a party scene, you know, how it is out there with all those bars around it, uh. that they called me and were like, man, we're not going to be able to record any of this audio because that's we did that voiceover. We need to do the voiceover. Right. And I said, well, man, just come stay at my house. Nobody's there. So when we went to my house, I don't know if that's how it started, but he started looking around. He was like, let's just get some of this B-roll. We even did this green screen shot with that mirror that we were going to use, and, and it, it got cut. But I didn't know we were shooting anything other uh, than. So that was his idea. Yeah, yeah, okay. which I think. Okay. And even changing the song, like having a different song, and then when the car door slams, it switches to that. Right. That was all like right. editing and and him. I didn't change so it. So I've never. All in. I, I never changed it. So never all in. It. What's what was your budget on it? Oh man, less than twenty five hundred. Okay, that's not bad. Between the fireworks and the food and, and the, the car beer and the car. And, and the, the video shooting tools and okay. and, hit, and him and right. you know, but I think that it's it's, I mean, it, it, to me, it it comes off as a ten thousand dollar video. It just, comes off, yeah, like just a like that that nightmare yeah. DJ video I made. Remember, right. I had to pull in all those extras and rent a bride's right. dress and get food right. and decorate the room like a wedding. Like, it gets it gets up there. You know right. what I mean? Regardless of the relationship you have with your videographer. Yeah, no matter how many favors you're phoning yeah. in. It's the, the, you're going to spend the money the budget yeah, to, to yeah. make it look like. And so you're thrilled with that expense. Man, first. You you think your ROI is all that? Oh, absolutely. Even if it's okay. nothing more than reaching DJs that that are fans of mine that buy, you know, the DVDs that come see us speak, that hire us to do consulting. If uh, it only reaches that audience, I still won. Right. And to and be honest book, with you, and it, if you book a couple shows from it, even better, even better. It, there's yeah. no way that that doesn't make me my money back. But and the, the fact end that of the none day, of your staff got hurt, nobody got hurt, and nobody. Because I thought you were going to say, "Yeah, I got a couple guys on the DL, no. and uh, we had to reassign right. some events because this guy lost no. a finger." But nothing, huh? no, good man. for you. It, it was, it's everything to me. I, I don't think, Mike, that I would be. I, I don't think I could have ever put it to bed. It it was going to be one of those things that it, I, it was just going to keep eating at me until I made it. Right. Period. Right. And it just yeah, they, to get they say made that's work. the they, they say that's the uh, the sign of a good idea when you think of something and yeah. then you put it aside for a little while. Yeah. If it keeps calling your attention, yeah. it's a really good idea. That's correct. I, I heard a speaker say that once. If you have a business idea, yeah. just put it on the shelf. Right. And and a week later, if you've forgotten about it, then it really wasn't that great an idea. Yeah. But if a week later or a month later or months later, like yeah. and you're, it keeps going, Joe, Joe, yeah. Joe, then that's the sign of a really good idea. So I good agree. for you, man. I, I, I feel that way about like, you know, uh, big purchases too. You know what I mean? Like if I no want to buy like a pair right. of shoes or a piece of gear, right. I'm like, let me, let me get 10 days. Do right. I still need it? Do I still and if want you it? you still want it, need it, then, yeah. then yeah. it may need, yeah. it may need to be, be purchased. Well, Joe, like I said, I don't have a time. Yeah, we're anymore, right at 30 minutes, man. You're good. Yeah, good. Yeah, you're good. really good. All right. Well, um, 
I, I feel weird about this whole video thing. I hope it comes out. I can't wait to see it. Uh, now I'll have to oh, go. This, I oh, this video. I'm like, wait. My no, not your out. video. No, this. <laughs> I'm like, wait. Video. I thought you liked it. No, no. I, no, I loved it. Yeah, I watched it a man. couple times. I watched it in, in preparation for me asking you questions about it, too. But, cool. Uh, yeah, I, I, anyone who's listened to this and is watching, I'm sure has already seen it. Go back. Watch it again. Share it. I'm yeah, sure Joe would please. love to share it. And, yeah, I love that. And, and, and offer your opinions and everything else. But yeah, no, this whole video thing, I, we're going to have to get, I'm going to have to get used to this. Nah, I know, but what, I'm, it expands the audience. This. What are we going to do? Because we've had weeks where we record two. Are we yeah. going to have a costume change? <laughs> like, are we going to record one? And then, like, I just have to go upstairs, change shirts. But are, like, are you going to bring an extra shirt to the office? Um... Uh... Are we that vain? And clearly <laughs> we are because you're sitting in front of a picture of yourself. So clearly and, we are. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. We may have to do a costume change. We'll or we could just it. have that little thing like flashing pre-recorded, pre-recorded. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They do right. that sometimes up in the right. corner. Yeah. All right. So we started this talking about the PHCJ uh, workshop. We should let everybody know. And I know Tony T does this on the outro, but uh, PHDJworkshop.com. We have the uh, educational content up there. We're going to be updating that with Jeremy's um, seminar in the next couple of days, but you can check that out. And and like we said, we, we are more than halfway filled up with seats. So if you are interested, now is the time. And Make again, guys, uh, uh, on Instagram, earn your PhDJ is our uh, Instagram handle. And so we've been uh, I've been doing a lot better job posting every couple of days. Really good pictures of myself, uh, Mike, my staff, Mike's staff really just doing what we love to do. Um, action shots, you know, guys out on the dance floor. Did you floor. see that picture Lynn got of me Saturday night? My, that was a great My last picture. gig of the year. Like, she got me like rocking out. Yeah, I'm like, that's, that's a, a great, great way picture. to end the year. It really, really is. Happy. That was a great picture. I love that picture. Yeah. So we got yeah. some good stuff like that. Um, so earn your PhDJ on Instagram. So good that's stuff. it, man. Great hey, first Joe, episode. We'll talk next week. Man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. See you guys.